In this short video, we are going to be looking at two free beginner level AI image generation tools, and we're going to compare to see which one comes out on top. We're going to be looking at Canvas AI versus Bing Image Generator, both of which are free to use. So let's go and see which one creates the best looking images. So first of all, we're going to come on over to Canva. This is their free online AI image generator. I'll leave the link in the description. We'll click this purple button. And from here, we will be able to start. So we'll go with use in a new design and we'll go with a custom size of 500 by 500 pixels. We'll click Create New Design. And then we will get a box. We are going to paste our detailed prompt in the box and hit Enter. Now Canvas AI is going to create four variations of this. And with any AI generation software, you've got to understand that it's really down to your prompt. So perfectly centered portrait of a robot. Is this perfectly centered? I don't think so. This one is, this one's not, and this one is. So we've got two out of four. Let's click create again and see if we can get any better looking images. And then we'll head on over and use the exact same prompt with Bing's one. So this is pretty good. This one's not bad. This, these are all pretty centered. This one's slightly different, but that's not bad. So let's go on over to Bing. This is their image creator, create images from words with AI. Let's paste the exact same one in there and click this. Please wait, your images are currently in progress. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for a second. Takes a little bit longer than it does with Canva, but that's totally fine. And now we get these images here. So these are pretty cool. They're very, very different to what was created over here. Let's pick this one. So we click on this and we'll just drag it to fill the screen. So we've got quite a simple image there. It's not perfectly centered. It's slightly off to the side. And if we go to this one, I think these are perfectly centered. So let's just, which one do we like? This one's pretty cool. I like this one. So we've got this image here, so we could then download this image. You see the dimensions here, 1024 by 1024. It's a square image, we could easily resize this, so it's not gonna lose anything to be 500 by 500. And then we could use this image however we wanted. So in my opinion, Bing beat Canva's AI, but let's do another test just to check. Let's give Canva another chance. We're gonna paste a new prompt in here. We're looking for a hyper real photo of a young, attractive female business leader in this particular case with blonde hair. Let's see what Canva gives us. It will give us four images. Hopefully they will be very realistic and look like a real person, which I believe they do. I think this does a really good job. Let's click this one and let's just bring this up so we can see it. This looks pretty good to me. Let's head on over to Bing. And again, we'll plunk it in here. We'll hit create and we'll wait and see if Bing does a good job, a better job, or if in this case, Canva wins. So again, we've just got to wait. Should be done very, very soon. Your image is being created by, by AI. You can see it kind of going down there. It's taken a little bit longer. There we go. So now in this case, that's not cool. We've got this, let's just make this a bit, let's just look at this, make it a bit bigger. We've got some weird stuff going on there. Um, so yeah, so in my opinion, in this particular case, Canva wins hands down. So the first one, Bing one, this one, Canva one. So I guess it's a case of playing around with both of them and seeing which one creates the kind of image that you are looking for. But AI image generation is only going to get better. And of course, there are really, really advanced tools out there as well. But if you're just getting started, these are two simple tools to use. Just bear in mind that the more detailed your prompt, the better image that you're gonna get, which might match your expectations. Hope you got a little bit of value from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in another video shortly.